Hey, what's goody? It's your boy Onags. Yo, I have something fresh and new. Something fresh right out the oven. Right out the oven. Have you ever watched a fashion photo review? It's like, um, it's a part of RuPaul's Drag Race. So, shout out to RuPaul's Drag Race. So, yeah, it's basically a game that they review the episodes and they kind of, they toot it, like they toot it or boot it. Basically, toot it means they like the look, the look from head to toe, makeup, everything. Boot it means they don't like it. It's bad. It's horrible. It's garbage. It's awful. So, I thought to toot and boot the last 10 beauty channels videos that i've watched you know what i mean you know what i mean let's get into it so remember two is that i'm feeling it i like it boot means it's a no all right so first we have my homegirl tatiana anisa she's doing her february 2022 favorites um and and it says moving update but yeah I love that she's just chilling on the couch. <laughs> like, we just kikiing, you know what I mean? And she has, like, her robe on and, like, a little, uh, like, shower cap type of, like, not shower cap. Like, a skincare type of um, headband type of thing. I love that. So, the outfit alone is cute. He cute. He cute. Well, she cute. She cute. As far as her makeup look... Her skin looks so beautiful. Like, her skin looks like a doll. So airbrushed. Her brows are, like, on point. Um, Her look, her eyeshadow look is so beautiful. Well blended and just the pop. I like the inner pop. Um, The lips always look good. Like, the teeth, everything looks so good. She looks so snatched and she looks so beautiful. Blush is on point, so uh, I'm definitely going to toot it. All right, next up we have Queer Bones. Um, He's newer. Like, I just started watching him, like, maybe a month ago or something like that. Um, So, yeah, shout out to you. Hey, what's good? So, yeah, so he just received his Odin's Eye X Angelica's palette, the Hen- Hella? Hella palette. He did a three looks, swatches, and comparisons in the video. Um, the first look that he did with the green and the, the pink, um, because that palette has like the signature per, uh, pink and signature green. I didn't like that look, but I'm not going to count that one. That's just extra, because then he did a two-eye look with um like one side was like a smoky side, and then the other side was a... um like a green side i loved it the smoky side with like the purplish in it it was so cute with the green eye he showed you two different looks basically you could wear them together because his base was really cute um his skin looks good i love his hair his hair is just gives me life and he gets extra points for his dog because the dog is so cute i really like how you put the look together at the end Basically, just trying to show you what you could do, but I still think it was a good job. Um, so the first look that he had done was like a boot, but the last look, the last two looks, I guess, combined, <laughs> he gets a toot for that. Yep, yeah, two. All right, so next we have my homegirl, Porcelain. She did a um, monthly makeup fails, uh, favorites and fails for February. The look that she has in this video was like kind of a spinoff from when she reviewed um, the Star Wars palette. She did two eye looks. She did a red eye and then she did this look that you're seeing right now. Uh, I didn't like the red eye, but this look I liked. She did the, she had to do two tone eyes as well. This one, the the gray, like, uh, grungy-ish, oh, I love it. It's so cute. With her inner corner pop that she does, uh, mixed with her gray, um, her purple hair. It's so cute. Um, 
I think the blend, everything is really nice. I love she like tops it with a cool tone lip and a subtle blush. I feel like she could pump up the blush a little bit more. I really love the look, but the one critique I could say is the brows. I would like the brows to have more definition to it. I think it would look much better. Much better. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like she can, she needs to do a little more to the brows, you know, to, so it could look a little more realistic, like hair strokes, you know what I mean? Um, but altogether, it is a two. All right, so next up we have Miss Paige Corn. Um, she, so her video is going through all of my concealers. Basically, she did a declutter. Um, so just I'm basing my tooting and booting to her look that she has in the intro and I think the outro. I can't remember. So yeah, like I said, it's her signature look. Um, really simple, soft glam look. Her skin looks so healthy, and I know she be having issues with her skin, so to see her skin looking really nice, it's a plus. I would like to see her go outside of the box, like a little bit of a pop of color would be cute. Um, but yeah, it's her signature look, the eyeshadows, you know, a little pinky moment, like she likes a uh, little nude lip. Um, nothing wowing, but I mean, I'm going to give it a boot. I'll give it a boot. But her skin looks good. And just like, holla at your boy, girl. All right, so next is Nikki Raven. Um, I've been watching her channel for almost a year now, I think. Um, and her video is a new makeup releases. It says, hide my wallet. This is video 166. She's made 166 of these videos. Like, yes, girl, props to your mama. Alright, so yeah, she talks about different makeup releases in this video. As far as her look, I like the look. I like the inner corner green pop moment. Um, sparkly, it's like pinky, purpley. Like, it's like deep, dark, vampy. I love all her tattoos. Like, I'm here for all those tattoos. I really like them. All the tattoos. What I would say is, um, I would like to see her start, uh doing more softer type looks just to have variety especially when you're reviewing a lot of um eyeshadow palettes um but that's it really i i really like the look her brows are, are really nice her complexion looks nice i like the pop of um blush it, it's like kind of how i have my blush like prominent you know what i mean and she does little freckles on her skin and she looks good. She looks really good. So you're getting a toot, sis. A toot. All right. So next we have my home girl Allegra Chetty. Girl, her voice is so relaxed and peaceful. I'm obsessed with her voice. Like obsessed. So she had new ColourPop products. Basically, it says too cute, too cute new ColourPop collection affordable makeup 2022. So, yeah, so the look that she did in this video, it's, um, she's so good with makeup, too. So, it was, like, a, a pink eye. I love her with the black hair. It's so good. Her brows look good. Her complexion is nice. Her lips are popping. Um, see, she did a subtle look as well. Oh, I love the, the glow on the chest. Uh, Decolletage. She did like, this is her signature type of, you know, look. But unlike Paige Corn, um, Allegra's is more popping. It's more vibrant, you know? So, uh, I'm definitely giving this look a toot. I do like how she, uh, bronzes really lightly, um, to chisel out the face a little bit. Uh, her skin looks so healthy and dewy. It has to be that mist that she has, which I do have the mist. She sent me the mist. Um, she has her own setting spray. It's amazing, too. It's, if you want that glowy, doughy, a dewy look. Yeah. So, yeah, a two. Okay, so next we have, coming to the stage, <laughs> um, Annette's Makeup Corner. She was playing around with the Lethal Cosmetics Night 
flower collection. She gave you swatches and a review. Um, she loves like those dual chromes and multi chrome shadows and stuff like that, and colorful makeup and stuff. I really love the look that she came out with. Her blending and her skills is just like amazing. She's so professional. Like her brow, I love how she comes up with her brow, um, like the brow hairs and stuff like that. And she puts the freckles back on her face, and um. She's not afraid to play with color and stuff like that. I love it. I love the blush is just like in your face, very prominent. She's like me. Hashtag natural lashes. Um, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. I like her lip color. It goes well with the hair. Um, I just love the vibe. But something I need to say is that sometimes I don't like how she puts down kind of like people that like soft glam or natural makeup or neutral makeup. Like, let them live their life. Come on. Let them live their life. If that's what makes them happy, so be it. You know, don't put other people down, you know? But all together for the look, she gets a two. All right, next we have Just Ann. Um, she unboxed Cheek, or Chic Beauty Box for February, March, um, which, uh, I have a lot to say about that beauty box, they are a scam, anyway, so yeah, about her look, it's the same old, same old look that she always gives us all the time, she's another one I would like to see switch up the game, switch up her makeup look, um, Everything's very bland on her. It's very bland and just a little bit boring. Um, even though I do like, you know, soft glam, but I change up things every now and then, you know what I mean? Like, and my my blush be popping. It's like vibrant, you know? Her skills are nice, but the all, the, the brows look fake. Like, I would like a little bit more definition in the brows as well. And just, yeah. It's boring, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to give her a boot. All right, so next up we have Angelica Nysquit. Ni you know, Angelica, she did a video. It says, Makeup Geek Closing Down, What's Not On My 2022 Bingo Card. So, Makeup Geek is closing down. Wow. I have a highlighter from them that is... One of my favorite highlighters. One of my favorite highlighters. I don't really use it on camera a lot because I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about Makeup Geek. So as far as her look in this video, I do like it. I like the smokiness of it. I like the inner corner peachy pop. Um, I wish she had more of a, a, a in-your-face blush, but I get it. I like the lip color. Uh, the brightness in the face, her skin looks beautiful. Um, sometimes her hair be looking gray a little bit. I don't think she's, I think she's pretty young. But I do like, I like the brow, the definition in the brow. Uh, falsies, of course. Uh, I wish she would start just, uh, trying some natural, hashtag natural lashes, you know what I mean? Um, but all together, and I said, she, wait, she doesn't like, uh, she doesn't like, she doesn't like a uh, highlight. She's not a highlight girl. I wish she would start incorporating that a little bit more into every her looks. But she's very diverse. Her looks are all over the place. Like she does all kinds of looks. Neutral. She does um, you know, colorful, glam, soft glam, all kinds of stuff. Drag makeup. No, let me stop. <laughs> so altogether she gets a two. All right, so the last person we have is Tara Babies. Um, she has a haul. It says Ace Beauté, Wayne Goss, ABH, Milani, Makeup Revolution, Joa, L'Oreal. Her look with the little yellow and the blue and the... Um... Now I'm conflicted with this look. I feel like she doesn't have any blush, any, like bronzer her lips look a little muted but the but the eyeshadow is real cute 
Like it's popping. But it's like half and half. I'm so split with this one because and her skin looks good. But her face, like her base face just looks flat. It just looks really flat. But her eye makeup is sickening. Like sickening. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Do I like it more than I dislike it? I don't know. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to boot it. I'm going to boot it. I'm sorry, sis. I love you. I love mostly all your looks. And those Viper toolboxes, like, for your makeup, they're like 5000 a piece. And she has like three or four. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed tooting and booting um, all the looks. I hope you guys played with me. Like, I hope you guys played with me. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this regularly. Um, so, let me know down below in the comments if you like it. Like, let me know. So, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Depends on how you feel. Comment down below. Say hey. What's good? Till next time. It's your boy Onegs. Signing off. One.